Last time on Yakuza Like a Dragon. Oh my god, yes, look at all these things that we can do. Wouldn't want you getting squished by a car now. Bon voyage, little buddy. Oh, my sweet Nancy. Oh no! Nancy here is the main course. What? What the hell? No, Nancy! Here goes. Hold Wait a minute. Sec. Boiler, griller, do whatever you like. No! Nancy, you and I are gonna get on just fine. Yeah! Oh, that's awesome! Prostitution's gotta go! No more beating Joe! Oh my god! This kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like this. Yeah! Greetings, my beautiful viewers! I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back- Oh, shoot. Sorry, lady. Uh, to- Oh, God, that lady's just stuck there now. Sorry. Um, welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. So, last episode, we finally got new job classes. Um, we, um, signed up to work for, um, this, uh, for Yokohama Trading, which might be connected to the Yokohama Liumong, who, because we're looking for- Mabuchi, the guy who killed our beloved boss, Nonomiya, and then we beat the shit out of Bleach Japan. And now this lady's looking for Nonomiya, so yeah. Is it closed today? Nonomiya-san, it's me, Erika Mataki. Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no. I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Oh, I'm Kasuga. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is Nonomiya-san in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see, well, that's a little complicated. You know... Know what? Well, Nonomiya-san, he... He died. What? Uh... He's... I don't... He, he can't be... Uh, that's not... Uh. Oh! Hey, hey! Oh shit! I think we're losing her! Hey! hey you alright? Someone call an ambulance! <sighs> Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. Eh, a little I've been bit. trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, what's your name? I'm Eri. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. Ichiban oh, Confections? John, you're a president at your age? That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice! My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuga. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best, which is why my grandfather chose it. He wanted his senbei to be the best in Yokohama. Oh. Ah, senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well... Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. What? I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman, regardless of what he was selling. That's the no, point. right. So, Ichiban Confections only sell snacks, right? Nothing, uh, else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijincho. Until... Until? Until three years ago, when my father succumbed to an illness. Oh no. My mother passed away when I was a little girl, so we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then. But I quit school to come back home. 
I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the Senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. I don't think so. And with so. the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Hmm. He used to be a regular of the Senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full. Wow. And even offered to help run the business so that my grandpa Senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's no no me of being a cool guy on the down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe this was gonna be another one of those exploiter and, you know, force her to work in his soapland situations. <sighs> I never saw him interact with his other businesses, but he was always very kind to me. Well, I can see the guy being a regular, but stepping in to become president? Maybe he just wanted some extra cash. Oh, quite it's possibly. It's possible, but Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. Hmm. He did? Yeah. He actually did want to go legitimate. That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. Oh, I get he it. said he wanted to start up his own business. Create a sort of safety net for Ijincho. The uh, what? Jincho's safety net. One way or another, Jincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. Yeah. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Aww. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Well, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff, so... I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Yeah, that's fair. Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. I know Mia-san was telling the truth, if you ask me. Yeah. I think so, too. He was a good I guy. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on his struggling senbei shop. I mean... There's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. That's fair. Anyway, I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Wait, what about your business? I think Nonomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. I had no place here anyway. That's not true! Hey now, is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. I suppose I'm just reaping what I've sown. 
It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. <sighs> what was I thinking? <sighs> I'm so mad at myself. Oh, man. <sighs> Mary Chan. All right, I got you. What? Huh? Oh no. Oh no! You don't have to worry about a thing. Just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang. No! Really? But I... Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. It is fate! Destiny! The shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's gotta be fate. Right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to carry on his torch. But don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for it too, but this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but we owe Nonomiya-san our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. I wanna help. He gave up everything to save us. And nobody's gonna pick his dreams up off the floor unless we do. That's the point. Think of this as paying him back. <sighs> Ichan. <laughs> paying him back, huh? <laughs> Figures you'd say that. Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. So give it all you got, Ichiban. We'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Uh, wait, you're gonna help too, aren't you? Good luck, Ichiban. <laughs> If anyone can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, that's you. I believe in you, Ichan. Ichan? Y yeah, but w what about you guys? Kasuga-san, you... Are you really sure about this? Not anymore! I thought I had friends! Yeah, I don't go back on my word. You don't. Be your president, prime minister, whatever you need. <laughs> Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. Oh. Don't mention it. Looking forward to doing this, Sari chan Likewise. Okay, then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Good plan. Sure. You got this, Mr. President. Hail to the chief. President Kasuga! <clears throat> Come on, guys. I think this is going to be a similar thing to what happened in Yakuza 0 with, like, uh, Kiryu's, um, business. At least I hope it is. Well, this is it. This is the first floor, which is our little senbei shop. Oh, that's nice. Oh, have you always been here? The shop has, but the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse, and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Hmm. Right behind you. That's about what I expected. Oh, so this is the office. You'll have to excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, Eri-chan. Welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes. Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. Oh. I'm Tomei Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Nice to Tomei meet you. Huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, too. Mmm, older gentleman. Unique hairdo. Thick build, toned muscles. Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri-chan. Oh. G Grandma, he's not my boyfriend. Were you even listening? <laughs> uh, honestly, sorry about that, Kasuga-san. It's cool. What is the chicken? There's a chicken there! <laughs> Omelette? Huh? Hello, chicken. Whoa. 
Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelette, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Oh! Uh, oh, right on. Nice to meet you, Omelette. Okay. Perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. Right. This is going to be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Okay. Sure thing. Quite the tutorial, huh? Well, we may as well get it done now. I'm ready to start your training whenever you are. What do you think? Let's fucking do it. May yeah. as well. Let's do it. All right, then. Here we go. This is a business management simulation, oh fuck, in which Kasuga takes on the role of company president in order to bring Ichiban Confection straight to the top. If you want to become the best company in Yokohama, you'll have to reach the number one uh, spot in the share price rankings. Management is played out in two phases, day-to-day -day business and shareholder meetings. Kasuga will run the company a total of four times, then give a financial report at a shareholder meeting at the end of each period. Okay. In keeping with good business practices, Kasuga cannot use company funds as his personal piggy bank, nor can he use any personal funds to fund the company. Okay. Management funds, okay. Hmm, they say one of the best ways to boost profit is to boost sales. Let's start running a uh, business once you uh, know how management works, okay. We got a job to do. Right. Employees are very motivated. Open for business. What am I doing? Am I doing a thing? Okay. Here's how the business did. These results are oh, kind of underwhelming. Here. Yeah. Tank it. We'll just have to make up for it. Our ranking dropped. Yeah, I noticed. But like, why? I don't know, like, what I could and do. And that's about all there is to managing a business. So, not too hard, is it? Yeah, not so bad. Uh, yo, wait up! You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke, broke as hell. Uh, you didn't have to put it like that. <sighs> right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats, and don't even get me started on the furniture and the equipment. Of course we're in the red! So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, and maybe some new furniture while we're at it. And we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh, good question. And what the hell do we do? Yeah. That's where you come in! What? Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself into? Management! Alright, well first off, Let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. I suppose we'll have to take out another loan? No. Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Who, someone with money. Or a rich friend. Or maybe someone from your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron. No. Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait... What is it? No, he wouldn't. Would he? Who am I talking to? That's where I'm at. Come on, Nick. I want to do this. For both the company and Nick! the Nick! I remember Nick! I just need a little bit of financing, I think it's called. Please, man, can you help me out? Uh. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> what? You okay there, Nick? Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving. Come be impressed. 
All right! I forgot about Nick! Oh my god! I'd be thrilled to invest in your company. Really? Man, thanks, Nick. That said, I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. What's that? Conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition, the company must never be in the red. Now, I don't ever want to see a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on mine. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Sound good so far? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Share what now? Ranking. It's what measures the company's value. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Okay. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. Got I'll it. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition two suits you fine? Yeah. What's condition three? The last condition. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Shit. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. Cool. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? Hell yeah, I'm down. You got yourself a deal. I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see you to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. Then we're on the same page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like, be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome. Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Of course. Looking forward to the results. Well, adios. Dude, I love Nick. Nick is so badass. Just look at all this money. Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it! I am not the boyfriend. I'd be all over you if I was younger. <laughs> Gee, thanks, lady. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing. Thank you, Kasuga-san. Well, I gotta work hard for this, I guess. Save your thanks for Nick Ogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and ultimately take the top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Hell yeah. Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Right. Well... Let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. Well, I'm gonna try this a little bit. Five million yen?! Oh, wow. I think it's about time we put Nick-san's money to use and start rebuilding this company. What do you think? Yes, let's, let's yeah, give it a try. Let's do it. Then without further ado, let's begin. Okay, we've only got one business right now. I think the other ones are other businesses. Okay. Period left to fulfill the promise to Nick. Oh, five. Okay. Kasuga-san, I think it'd be wise to maximize Nick's investment by reviewing the current state of the company. Let's start by uh, checking on Ichiban Confections. Okay, go to the properties to check the properties. Oh, there we go. Now, properties allow you to buy and sell properties as well as improve those you own. Right now, I feel we should focus on assigning uh, our employees. Turns out, I'm not too sure what will work best for us. Kasuka san will leave uh, the review at, uh, of the assigned employees to you. Okay. Cool. Hmm. This property has the ability requirement. Uh, that affect profit if your product services and reputation 
are not up to par. You may face difficulties in business like diminishing sales and unforeseen issues. Okay. Ah, yes. He's the best we have for service right now. We don't have anyone else. Damn. It seems our employees aren't being used to the best of their abilities. What are you talking about? Change out some employees. Okay. Oh, I see. I'll it, sonny. Gotta make it to like the bare minimum, I'm guessing. There we go. Now they're above the line. Cool. Okay, go to employees. Uh, we have five employees, but to be honest, wages uh, we're paying out uh, are the one of the biggest detriments to our profits. It's going to sound terrible, but laying off two of the employees might be necessary to get us back on track. Kasuka-san, please lay off two employees who are not currently assigned to property. Oh no, I don't want to lay him off though. Old man hero, no! I'm sorry, bro. I, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, the wages of employees who are not assigned to properties are paid in the form of surplus labor costs, which are deducted from sales. Try to avoid risking your business by laying off uh, these employees when conditions are not satisfactory. Okay. Great. We should start seeing improvements from here. All that's left now is to roll the dice. Okay. Okay. Can I upgrade? Oh. Oh, higher sale volume. Okay. Um, let's get the service up a little higher, I think. Oh, shit. Did I just fuck up? Oh, okay. No, no. That goes even higher. Got it. Cool. Okay. Properties market? I can't do any of those yet. Okay. Let's open for business. Got a job to do. Let's do it. <laughs> We're making money. Uh, still make it rain. Here's how the business did. These are incredible nice. results. Nice. It's great out there. Fuck yeah, we did well. Things are going up. That's the good shit. Our ranking went up. Not by much, but it went up. Got it. Okay. Hell yeah, we actually made a profit. Amazing. We did it. Yep, we did. And all thanks to Nixon's investment. Having an investor makes all the difference, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Indeed. Right. To invest in people or infrastructure. There are so many ways to do this right here and now. But we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Yeah. Money for the future. I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. <laughs> There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. Yeah! You know it. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Alrighty. Um, I'm actually going to take a look. Okay, can I do more of this? I would like to do more of this. Am I not allowed to do more of this? How do I do more of this job? Oh, is it a thing I do? No. Oh, yes. Management. Okay. Four operations left. Uh, three of ten employees I can have total. I only have two properties. Damn. Okay, is that, is that all I can do? Yeah, I guess that was it. 
Hell of a day. Oh, and we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Ah. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Yeah. Not a chance in hell, old boy. Oh, shot down. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow. You can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. Ho oh, ho! She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. Yeah, but that's but her choice. It's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes. We sure went hard last night, huh? It was a nice change of pace. Yeah. Guess we should head to the warehouse. What's up? Eh, gotta use the bottom of this shady stuff. Uh, gotta get to the bottom of this shady stuff quick. I can't handle much more of it. Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. No, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. What?这个当初讲好的不一样吧批发价会算你这么便宜就是因为说好当场付现的没钱的话东西我们可要收回去了知道了我去银行抽钱回来三十分钟后你们再过来这次可要准备好啊放心了相信我Wait right here. Yes, sir. What the? That wooden box. What the heck? This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Oh, I get it. He's printing off counterfeit what? money. Oh, um, it's not here yet. What? Counterfeit bills? That would make sense. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Like the one that Ichiban has. Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. 
So then the boss got more money from... somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. Yep. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait. Are you saying the paper is... It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They've gotta. What, and, and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake-ass money? Yep. I don't know. It seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Yep. Another good point. Also makes sense with uh, how they're turning a profit. They're turning a profit because they're basically getting all their stuff for free and selling it for the exact same price that they would have that they would have bought it for. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Yep. Me too. Well, maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. Yep. I mean, after all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Yep. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What do you mean? Money laundering. When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. Yeah. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Indeed. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. Yeah. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Yeah. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries. I'll go. <laughs> Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? Guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? That's true. And, you know, it changes over time and all that. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. <sighs> yeah, that overconfidence is gonna come back to get us, I think.
Alrighty, time to head to Yokohama Trading. And hey, the Soup Kitchen side quest is back! I saw that on the map, so time to go and, uh, see what's up with that. Play matchmaker, I guess. Oh! Actually used to be a manager of a little place not too far back. Yeah, I've lost my job, ended up on the streets, but I've been thinking about climbing my way back up. Gotta be someone who will hire me. I know I'll do a good job if it was if I was just given the chance. Oh, well, sure, let's recruit him. Why not? Now, as a guy in charge, I can tell you our company doesn't care if you are homeless or not. Oh, register here. I'll reach out to you with something. Cool. Nice. Is that what is that a little icon? Is that Ichiban Confections there? Is that where I need to go? To do more of that, because I definitely want to do more of that, honestly. Kasuga-san, you came! Hey. Yeah. Uh, where's your boy, Terracotta? Apparently he's learned his lessons. He's been laying low as of late. Well, that's good to hear. Hmm? Hey, looks like they're running the soup kitchen today. Now's your chance to talk to her. Uh, sure, but... This whole time I've been thinking about what I should say, but I can't think of anything. I think it'd be easier to talk to her if I knew what she liked. Why not go up and ask her? Uh, but what if she thinks I have an ulterior motive and never speaks to me again? Dude, don't overthink it. Do you think you could ask Shirokawa-san what she likes for me? I haven't even been able to touch my soup. I'm so stressed about it. Man, you serious right now? Fine, but just to get this thing started, okay? Alright. Okay, be right back. Let's see if I can find uh, something these two can talk about. Uh, Roy asked me to find out what Shirakawa likes. Guess I'll act like I'm getting some food to see what I can learn. Hey. Yo, mind if I get some food? Huh? Oh, you're the guy from last time. Do you, do, uh, did you like the onigiri? Oh, uh, yeah, it was great. Thanks. Really? I'm glad. I love cooking, but I'm pretty clumsy, so I'm never too sure about the taste. It's a relief to know you liked it. Okay, so she likes cooking. Maybe I should ask what else she likes. Sup? Uh, do you like anything other than cooking? Huh? You want to know what I like? Well, yeah. To tell you the truth, I was thinking about getting a gift for a girl your age and wasn't too sure what to get her. Thought maybe you had some kind of idea. Oh, I see. A gift? Well, I'm not sure if it'll help, but I love flowers. Flowers, huh? Hi. Yes. I'm even attending a gardening program at college because of that. Well, that's cool. I guess a lot of girls love flowers. Thanks for the hint. Oh, no problem. I hope she likes the gift. Mm -hmm. Wait, don't you want any food? Oh, I'm good. All right, she likes flowers. I should tell Kuroi. Yo, I found out what she likes. Thanks. So what did she say? Yeah. She loves flowers. Loves them so much she's going to college for gardening. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, what's the big surprise? Yeah. Well, actually, at one point in time, I worked at a flower shop. Oh, no way. That's perfect, then. Shouldn't be hard to talk to her if you lead in with that. <laughs> right. Let's see. I'm starting to feel pretty confident. I think I'll go over and say hello. Yeah, you go, brother. Are we going to get anything about this? Uh, I guess not. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, looks like he's in business. Alright, that was nice. Okay, cool. Looks like I was a pretty good Cupid. Indeed, it does look like that. I think I'm going to try going to um, the business here and seeing if I can... Um, Seeing if there's a way to, like, 
run the business. Oh, that's uh, the Sujimon man. Okay, that's... Where is the business? I can't find where, like, running the business is. I thought I could run it from my phone, but I can't. So I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do, because I want to do more of that business. I see, like, that there is this down here. I wonder if that is... I wonder if it's part of that side quest or not. I honestly have no idea. Oh, it's Jinai. Okay, that's what it is. Now, that's the old guy who's friends with that Shota kid. Uh, what was he saying he was gonna get a present for him? Hey. Yo, you find a present for the kid? Oh, oh hey there. About that. Any idea what kids like these days? Far as I might, I couldn't think of anything Shota kun would like. Uh, maybe you figure out. Maybe you'd know more about that. You ever ask him what he likes and stuff? Well, I do see him reading books a lot, but he's kind of reserved on the front. Doesn't uh, exactly tell me those sort of things. Sure. Hmm. What to do? Anything come to mind, Kasuga-san? Mm, me! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. Latest gaming console, maybe? How about a game console? Ain't kid to be happy with one of those. Hmm. Well, it doesn't sound half bad. How much would one cost? Let me take a look. Huh? Yow, they're pretty pricey. Got this kind of cash? Okay, so that's a no. Uh, now what? Handmade goods. Uh, what if you built the kid a bookshelf? Uh, he reads a lot, so that'd be cool, right? Do you think a kid of today would want a bookshelf? No. I think it's more important that you put thought into it. Hmm. Well, that's fair. So, and a bookshelf shouldn't be too hard to make. Alright, let's go with that. Cool, a bookshelf it is. Well, good luck with that. Oh, no. uh, well, Kasuga-san, I know it might be selfish of me to ask, but... Think you could help me with building the bookshelf? Even just gathering the materials? I've never done something like this before. Sure thing. All right. Um, I'm the one who suggested it. Might as well help out. Arigato na. Oh, man. Thank you, kasuga -san. I'll get the tools if I can uh, leave the wooden nails to you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's uh, meet back here once uh, we're done. Sounds good. South of Saka River. I'll be counting on you. I got it. All right. Wooden nails. Where do I find those? That is a good question. I have no idea. Ugh, hate when the garbage piles up. It attracts all the crows. Uh, don't hate the crows. They're just trying to get by, you know? In fact, crows are pretty smart. Oh. They've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched. Huh, interesting. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a soft spot for them. No, well, what can I say? The birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash. <laughs> Guess everyone has a flaw. <laughs> well, that was cool. Let's see how this is going. <laughs> I was gloom in some pretty unexpected places. Back when I was working, I didn't pay much attention to the city. But you'd be surprised when you uh, what you see if you look. <laughs> really? I'll have to keep my eye out. Oh, looks like they're doing good. Oh, nice of the Croy's doing just fine. Nah. Hey, look at that. Mm -hmm. What is it? Talk about Beauty and the Beast. Those two don't, don't match up at all. <laughs> yeah, guy's like a wild dog, am I right? <laughs> yeah, real mutt. We need to get this man a shower. Uh... And Beauty and the Beast. Huh? Whoa! What's they up on me like that? Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently Shirakawa-san and I aren't a good fit. Hmm. That didn't even cross my mind. Well, I can't keep looking like some raggedy old hound. I don't want to embarrass Shirakawa-san. Yeah, you're right. You definitely, um... I mean, like, your clothes are fine. You just need to wash up a bit. Or should I change first? <sighs> what should you change? Face. How about your face? Uh... Like plastic surgery? Yeah, you're right. You should never go for this ugly mug. Nah, it's not like that. Like, cut your hair. Put on makeup or something. Well, that's what you meant. I don't know if that'll be enough. 
Got me there. Let's change his clothes. What's up? Why don't you close? I'm sure she'll notice that. You have anything else to wear? Sorry to say, this is all I have. Alright, so uh, we'll go, uh, we'll just have to buy you some. How much you got on you? Mm. Got nothing. But I'll try and do something. Sure, Kawasan and my new friend who's been cheering me on. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm rooting for you, man. Arigatou Thank you. Hopefully, it can help me with my outfit once I get some money. He's a lot more confident now. At this rate, he's got it in the bag. Oh, that's nice. I actually, I really like that actually. So I finally found out where the confections place was because I'm a goddamn idiot and it took me forever to find it. Found it on the map here. Here it is. Hi, Grandma. Little snack crackers. Ooh. Ichiban sen uh, senbei. Ooh, the salt. Let's buy ten of them. Why not? They heal a good bit, so. Kasagasan. It's finally time your first shareholder meeting. Hmm? Shareholder what now? In short, it's a meet and greet with the shareholders, those who have stock in our company. Shareholders are going to throw questions and opinions our way based on the results of the fiscal term. So I'd like you to do your best to deal with them, Kasuga-san. Deal with them? Well, it's actually more akin to quelling their anger. Our company still has a long way to go, so of course our shareholders are always angry in one way or another. And if they go home angry, they'll start foregoing their shares, and the value of the company will drop considerably. If the share price goes, the value of the company goes with it. Alright. Mm. Uh, if the share price goes to shit, it'll be harder to fulfill the promise to Nick. Then, is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. Now, seriously? Uh, you say it's a mean and greedy, but that doesn't sound fun at all. Okay, what do I gotta do to make them less angry? You know, hookers and blackjack usually works. <laughs> Best way to do so is to demonstrate the charm of our company and properly address the uh, opinions of our shareholders. That should be enough to leave them satisfied. <laughs> if not, you could try apologizing from the bottom of your heart. Groveling might be a good way to go. I've done it a few times, and it proved effective. Sounds like you've had it rough, but uh, wait. What? Am I doing this by myself? I'm sure it's uh, going to be enough uh, to convince these guys. Oh, no, you won't do it by yourself. Uh, you'll be able to choose up to four employees to join you at the shareholder meeting, so please make sure you have a strong team lined up beforehand. Each employee is a different level of persuasive ability along with a specific field of expertise, so keep those in mind as you, cho as you choose your team. Also, I should tell you it's better to bring employees with higher positions and motivation to the shareholder meetings. Okay, cool. Wow. Gotcha. I'll get to the team meeting and drive it right yes. in. Judge, drive it right in. Great, please do, Kasuga-san. Oh, God. This is going to end horribly, isn't it? Mm, manage employees can now be assessed. Boardroom. Oh, I can buy another property. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, wow. Some of these are take, take a lot more than I thought. Oh, boy. Well, she seems very excited to work. Okay, cool. I can take four employees with me. I need someone who's a little bit happier. Ah, preparing for the meetings. Okay, current approval rating. Uh, net worth, manage employees. Okay. I need to select my team. Wait, what's wrong with my current team? Why is my approval rating down? How do I make my approval rating go up? Why is my approval rating still bad? I don't understand. There we go. I guess having a chicken on the team was not helping us, I guess. Consider the shareholders handled. Oh, uh, what am I doing? Skills confirm. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god. Oh, uh, oh, it's a real-time Q&A battle as you attempt to quell angry shareholders by answering their onslaught of questions. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I have no idea what this is going to be. This is going to be insanity. 
You know, like, reading all of this isn't going to help me. I'm just... We'll start with the financial report. President Kasuga, if you would. Hmm. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Okay. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q&A. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Um, oh shit. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Please raise your hand if you have if you have uh any questions this is the time to ask oh I see how it works Okay, I was just trying to figure Please it out. Mmm, I needed to get up higher. There we go. Okay. If you have any questions. <laughs> Nice. Okay. We are sorry, I guess. Damn it. I got two of them to be happy with me. Well, everybody, this calls for a celebration. Pound the mochi. The meeting was great. Cool. That was good. I guess. Oh wow. That's the good shit. Holy shit! I did not expect that. And I got actual money for doing that. Oh my god. I had no idea that was going to happen. Well, shit. Great work today, President Kasuga. <sighs> oh, great. Shareholder meetings are rough. He'll get used to it. The more our company grows, the bigger uh, number of shareholders and more extreme the claims. Uh, today's meeting was just the beginning. Oh, God. Really? That said, I think you did uh, great for your first time. Convincing all the shareholders at the meeting could have been overwhelmingly positive effect on our share value. Right. I'll work on that for the future times, I guess. Oh my god, I don't care about <laughs> yes. any of this. I'm sorry. Uh... Oh my god. Hello, chicken. How are you today? All right. Let's get down to business. Oh wow! Okay, I, I I ran the business once, and now I got um, so I like because my chicken was on, uh, purchase the commercial time slot. Or oh, it cost me all of that. Damn. Add on air. Uh, what's... Oh, okay, I see. I don't know who Kudo is. Doesn't seem all that good. Um... Hmm... Right now, I need to focus on not having too many labor costs. We got a job to do. Alright. I'm so hungry! Here, oh, go. no! Ichiban Senpei! Whoa! Aren't you President Ichiban from Ichiban <laughs> I sure oh am. God, no! Eat Ichiban's 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 First in smiles, Ichiban Confections. 
Oh my god. That was an amazing commercial. Let us see. Let's make that game. Ah, dame da, dame da. Pretty lucky. I can still make it. Oh, damn. Here's how the business did. These are incredible results. Yeah, they are. Oh, my God. Nice. You guys did great out there. Things are going up. That's what I'm Our talking about. Nice. Ooh, we were contacted by an employment company. There are some candidates who are looking for work. Okay. Oh my god, I had to pay all of that. Oh shit, I didn't realize that. Oh damn. Oh, that that may not be good for me. Oh boy. Em employee cost. That, that lady better bring in like a shit ton to our businesses because, oh my god. There we go. Okay, that place is no longer in the red. Oh, no, wait, it still is. Okay, so let's assign someone to it then. Perfect. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm just trying these to see how well we they do. To do. Employees are motivated. Goody. Let's we're very sorry oh god Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. I'm doing my other meeting. Oh my god, I settled all of their questions. Well, everybody, the meeting went great. Oh wow, I did not expect that to do me so good. Our ranking went up. Wow. Holy shit. Guess that worked. I've just been doing a little bit of the management and everything. Um, yeah, holy shit. <laughs> My properties are doing relatively well, but I need to upgrade them. Okay, so after playing this for a little while, I have gotten myself up to almost like, you know, to meeting that first um, goal that Nick set for us. Oh my god. Like, my businesses are not doing too terribly well, though. Alrighty, so I figure I'll show you, like, you know, like a little bit more of the shareholder meetings, and then we'll call this an episode, because I've been recording this for a while of just trying to get this minigame going, and I'll probably end up doing it, like, in my off time from now on, because, you know, I'm about to get up to, like, the rank 100, and I know that that's important, so I figured I'd record it until then. Oh, boy. Alrighty, let's do this thing. Why not? Consider the shareholders. I don't know if they're handled. We'll start with the financial report. We'll kick things off with the financial report. We're not doing too well, but our employees are doing very happy. Our. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q and A. Let's. If you have any questions? This is the time to ask. <laughs> Well, that was easy. God, I'm glad I leveled her up. If you have any questions, this is the time to ask. Wow, I'm doing pretty well, actually. Yeah! That concludes our periodic <laughs> shareholders meeting. Well, everybody, this calls for a celebration. The meeting was it great. It did. Oh my God! Yes. 
are skyrocketing. That's the good shit. Yeah, we made it past that. Rank 91 now. We did one of the things that Nick wanted us to do. Let's see if there's a scene or anything to accompany it. I think that there is. I don't know, but I'm I'm hoping there is. <laughs> we did it! What? Huh? Well, what's going on, Granny? Ichiban Confection is finally in the top 100 share pricing ratings! What? Huh? <laughs> what? Are you serious? That's great! Oh, boyfriend! You're amazing! Maybe we should go somewhere more private. No, that's okay. I'll settle for compliments, I think. All right. Hey, sounds like you got yourself into the top 100. Nicely done, Ichiban. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Nick. Uh, it's only issue. Uh, it's only because of your investment. No, actually, plenty of people fail even with all the investments. You really were cut out to be a manager after all. It seems I wasn't wrong to believe so. I'm always willing to invest in people who bring results. Allow me to give you an additional investment, Ichiban. How does another 50 million yen sound? Hmm? Are you sure you want to give me that much? Absolutely. That amount will be chump change once, you're, once you reach the next level. But there's a condition this time as well. Is that okay? Of course. What's the condition? Top 50. I want you to get into the top 50 rating within the, within the given period. Things won't go as smoothly from here out. Shareholders will be harsher, and you'll and you'll be more likely to be harassed by rival companies with a, let's say, less than favorable opinion of you. The amount of money you handle will increase, and the responsibilities will be greater. Knowing all this, are you still up for the challenge? Okay. You have to ask. I live for fighting against the odds like that. Climbing my way up from the bottom's what I do best. <laughs> Excellent. I knew you were the man uh, for the job, Ichiban. In any case, I'll deposit the money right away. Use it carefully. I do look forward to seeing you succeed. Well, thank you. Nice. Next goal is top 50. I'm sure it's going to be a whole lot tougher, but that won't stop me. Oh boy, employee count increased from 10 to 25, and I can manage more buildings. Cool. I think I should... Focus more on having an elite team rather than, oh my god, who are they? Sir, a familiar name has appeared in the share price ranking. Oh, really? And what name is that? Ichiban Confections. Ichiban Confections? In that cracker shop that was on the way out. I heard some novice girl inherited it, but I never thought she'd bring it back to life like that. She's an impressive one, that's for sure. Yeah. No. Actually, that girl isn't the current president. Huh? What? Then who is it? Ichiban Kasuga, a former Yakuza thug who's supposedly homeless until just recently. <laughs> oh my god, they know who I am. You mean this idiot here is... Who's backing him? It's Nick Ogata. Oh. Uh. Nick Ogata? That bastard again. What should we do, sir? Isn't it obvious? We'll take immediate action, like any good business should. Nakano Watari, as always, I'll be counting on you to handle this. Hey. Sir, leave it to me. I'll give it everything I've got. Just don't draw too much attention to yourself. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, Mishima. Let's get, let's come up with a plan. Right. Well, this is interesting. Are you sure about this? That guy's as violent as he is stupid. <laughs> well, let's call it a trial run. Any company that gets crushed by a moron like uh, Kawan and Atari was doomed to from the start. Ichiban Kaska, I look forward to seeing how you fare. Oh my god, this is just like the five billionaires or the five stars or whatever. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Okay. Let's do our best to reach our next goal, Kasuga san. Alrighty. Okay. Right on. Hmm? What's wrong, Eri-chan? Uh, it's nothing. She doesn't seem herself. Wonder if maybe something's bothering her. Sup? Hey, Eri-chan. If you're up for it, wanna go out for a drink? Oh, with you, Kasuga-san? Yeah. 
We can celebrate getting into the top 100 while we're at it. We've been so busy running the company, I didn't realize we haven't gotten to talk all that much. Unless you're not, uh, up for it. Oh, no, uh, of course I am. I've been wanting to spend time with you, Kasuka-san. Alright, then. Let's do it. Uh, we can go to this place called Survive. It's one of my favorite bars. It's just up the street. Uh, you cool with that? Yes. Sure. I, I, I'll have to get ready before I go, so let's meet at the bar. Okay, I'll see you there. Kasuka, can I use the stack slap? What is the stack slap? I don't know what that is. Apparently, I can't run the business until, um... Uh, until I go talk to Eri-chan. So, yeah. Well, we may as well do that real quick. Oh, there's Eri-chan. Okay. Oh, Chief. Hey, I keep you waiting? No, I actually just got here. So I see you brought a friend. I did. You're smoother than you look. Oh, thank you! Come on, man. She's an employee of mine. Is she now? Were you homeless just the other day? And now you're some corporate big shot? Apparently, yes. <laughs> it's a long story. One I'll say for another time. Right now, we're here to celebrate. So how about you work us some magic? Huh. Fine, then. Oh, dude, I would pay money just to hear David Hayter just, like, talk about anything. So, we made it to the top 100. I think that calls for a toast. Hell yeah! Cheers! Ooh, that's good. And I wanted to start off with a thank you for all your support. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be president of anything. You're just being modest. If anything, I should be thanking you. If I weren't so naive, I wouldn't have had to drag you into this mess. But you, you're just what a company needs. You're decisive, dependable, a good judge of character? Um, the fact that this is all a pretty easy mini game makes this a lot easier, I'm not gonna deny. <laughs> Life itself is better with you around, Kasuga-san. Oh. Speaking of character, let's talk about the guy who pulled one over on you. Who is this jerk ass anyway? He's the president of a very big firm here in Yokohama. I think he's that guy. Serious? And he just preyed on you out of nowhere? Damn. Yeah. I never thought a professional on his level would do that. You see, I just inherited my company and didn't have a clue how to run it. It was a time I really needed somebody to count on. Then suddenly I met this business tycoon who seemed really genuine. I ate up every word he said. And you paid the price for it. Yeah. <sighs> Every time I think about it, I feel so stupid. Oh. Well, it's not like anyone can really blame you, right? Yeah. I probably would have done the same thing if I was in your shoes. Really? Yeah. And remember, the fault lies with the deceiver, not the deceived. You did what anyone would do. I know you're just trying to process things. You don't have to beat yourself up. Kasuga-san. You're right. Oh, I like Eri. And apparently she's like a secret optional character if you complete this whole side quest. I know it's pointless to punish myself over something in the past. Yep. And no matter what kind of company the shitbag runs, he's going down. Together we'll climb the ranks, make it to the top, and leave him begging for mercy. Hell yeah! Yeah, we will. We'll even get big enough to completely buy him out. We'll take back all the businesses he stole, and start our own holdings company. Yeah! I like the sound of that. And with that attitude, nothing's gonna stop us. I hope. So keep your chin up, yeah? Enjoy the ride. Right. <laughs> There's that airy chan smile. Honestly, I saw you looking kind of down, so I got a bit worried. Oh. Oh, was I acting strange? Sorry, it's just... Something on your mind? You know you can always talk to me. How should I explain this? I was just thinking about my dad. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah? It's like... Um... Whenever I see you smile, 
I always think of my dad. You two are so alike. Are we? That's why I got so emotional all of a sudden. Oh, makes sense. But I wasn't feeling down or anything. Don't worry. I'm gonna worry anyway. Oh, okay. Wait a sec, though. If I remind you of your dad, does that mean... He had big poofy hair like this? <laughs> yeah, I'm going he with had that. Big poofy hair like this? Oh no, he always made it a point to look clean cut. Ow! And I'm not. I, cut... I wasn't. <laughs> and that. I'm not. In any case, I wasn't referring to your appearance. It's the way you carry yourself. That makes sense. You're funny, outgoing, always full of energy. You make everyone around you smile. Oh, it's true. My dad was just like that. He always made me feel safe and secure. To be honest, so do you. Oh! <laughs> Is that right? I wish I could have met the guy. Sounds like we would have hit it off. <laughs> I'd like to think so. All right. Then for an awesome dad like yours, I'll put my heart and soul into making Ichiban Confections the best it can be. Now, there's no way I could ever replace your old man. But I can protect his legacy. Yeah! Would you help me do that, Eri-chan? I don't think I can do it alone. You won't have to. I'll help you every step of the way. Nice. Please. But I know you've got so much on your plate already. You're sure you'll be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine! Oh, well, I know this won't be a walk in the park, but I have good people on my side. Good people? Yeah. A group I trust with my life. Can't get much done without them. <laughs> so I'm sure it'll all work out. Call it a gut feeling. <laughs> Bet they'll give me tons of shit for overdoing it, though. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're all close. We are. Hey, you okay there? Kasuga-san, could I ask you a favor? Sure. Uh, yeah, what's up? Do you think I could ever be part of your inner circle? Sure. Huh? Look, you've been doing so much for me since the day we met. But I feel like all I ever do is watch from the sidelines. Yeah, a little bit. That's not really fair, is it? So I was thinking I could play a more active role in your daily affairs. Did I unlock her already? You focus more on management without feeling bogged down by all your other stuff. That's a win for you and our company, right? I can't think of a reason for me not to join. I don't know. We all walk a pretty tough road. Shit gets out of hand non-stop. You don't want to risk getting hurt, do you? I'm fully aware of the risk. A and trust me, I won't be a burden on that front. Okay. Okay, but... Harry-chan, as much as I like the idea, I just don't see it happening. Please. Let me be the one doing you the favor. Besides, if you say no, I'll just tag along without your approval. That sounds like a thing you would do. <laughs> Guess that doesn't leave me much choice. Don't expect any hand-holding, though. <sighs> Fine by me. Okay. I'd say that's worthy of a toast. Welcome to the party, Eri-chan. Hooray! Cheers. Cheers! New party member! Is she actually a part of the party now? And by the way, Eri Chan will be tagging along from this point on. I'm Eri. I'm excited to get to know everyone. Are you sure about this? Knowing us will probably bring you nothing but trouble. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we're always in one mess or another. Doesn't help that we got these two drunks either. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking. You don't have to worry about me. I just want to repay you for all the kindness you've shown me. And I'm ready for just about anything. Got it. Just about, huh? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Good to have you. Yeah, we got another Welcome party member. Game, -chan. Thank you for having me. Wow, that's cool! I thought it'd be like much later that we would get her on the team.
Okay, cool. Unlike the rest of your party members, Aries' bond level only increases as you grow your business. Okay. Increasing her bond has many benefits, such as giving her access to new jobs and skills. Okay, cool. Aries' sweet and caring disposition has given her a natural aversion to sleep and rage. Okay, nevertheless, she seems more prone to being stunned. That makes sense. Okay. Well, we're going to call it here for this episode. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Oh boy, I think actually in the next episode, like in the off time, I'm going to work more on like this side quest here. Because like, kind of like what we did with Yakuza 0 with uh, Sandman. I kind of want to see this side quest done to its completion. And it seems as though I can get pretty far in it right now. So, um, I'm definitely going to do that right now while I can. Because I think it'll be fun. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on. So, when I come back uh, in the next episode, probably be... I may even be at a new ranking. Who knows where I'll be. But either way, thank you again for joining me. And if you're enjoying this as much as I am, as always, like, comment, subscribe it if you are not already. Ring that bell for all the notifications. Is And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. <laughs>